So what is your take on the urgent financial system with China and the U.S.? Um, and there's a sort of another question from Lauren, and let's lump them together. Uh, you know, in the global currency reset, do you think it would be smarter to invest in foreign currency or precious metals, or just stop trying to trade on minerals and, and you know, be nice to people? Anyway, okay. sorry, that's my opinion. I understand right, the think. question. Um, I am not a financial consultant. I am not a stockbroker. I'm not a bond dealer. Uh, I am an average citizen who tries to stay on top of this as well so that I can you know, hold on to the few pennies that I have. Um, the changing of the world's financial system to an asset-based system I believe to be a very good one. Uh, the separation of China from the US dollar and the other BRIC nations which will soon total over a hundred if it isn't already there is basically to isolate the United States because of its abuse of power. And I don't say this lightly. I mean, I love my country. I love virtually everything about it. I think we're incredibly unique. And, you know, we did some amazing things. But it's clear that corruption is institutional here. And it has been ever since the private Federal Reserve took over. Um, you know, the chickens always come home to roost. There's just no doubt about it. And the chickens are going to come home to roost here. Unfortunately, our government isn't going to own it. They're not going to take responsibility for it. The banks aren't going to own it and take responsibility for it. They're going to dump the whole truckload of shit on us. And this is why I say it's important that we take back our power when we just don't put up with this crap anymore. Okay? Because this is what always happens. You know, we blame each other, we look at each other, we're like, oh, we're terrible, we're not good. When in fact, they have to come back to us to create whatever new system they have to put into place. Because we are the creators. It is not them. It's we are. We're the force that makes it all happen. So, um, it's just same old, same old. It's just that, um, you know, it's our time to see this whole thing come apart. I would think that cooler heads, sensible heads, those who have even a minuscule of common sense would realize that in order to be in the world you have to get along with the world. And that they would figure out a way to come to terms with this and uh, but we still have to deal with the corruption in our government and our banking system. I mean that's just a no-brainer. That still has to be dealt with and uh, I don't know how that's all going to play itself out. If I were investing, I would invest in commodities, things that people need every single day. Uh, water, water purification, uh, gold, food, groceries, uh, energy, those are things everybody needs every day. Uh, that's what I would do. But that's just my opinion. You know, I think it's a, a very important thing to do. To, to, to what's the word? Um, uh, assay? To, not to assay. To, to, to invent, inventory your life. And how much fuel does it take to run your life? You know, and then, well, how, if I, if I were to, if, that, if the stocks were to be taken away, uh, how long would I last with what I've got? You know, how, yeah. how, how much energy does it take to sustain my being? Um, and, well, uh, this, yeah. AP, that's a great, that's a great point. And, and this comes back to, if, if you put all of, if you put your life on paper and you see what it is, what you have, what you are, um, you can then decide clearly, is this the life I want or do I want to create more abundance? Because without doing that, most people, they don't want to know or they're so busy being in survival, they don't even want to, they really don't want to know because they're always in survival. But you know, you can change survival. You just have to want something better. And then you have to focus your intent on that something better. And, and then know Know that you know that you know that you're going to get it. You know, you're the creators, folks. You do this. You create you. No one else is doing it. 
Only you do. Don't let anybody have that power over you, ever, ever, ever. Okay? Know that you know that you know that you are the creator of your own happiness, not anybody else. It's no one else's responsibility. It is yours. That's what it is.